So, hello, this is the Radex um, Geiger counter. It's a Russian Geiger counter and so the manual here isn't the best um, or isn't the best in English. And somebody wrote me a comment that it would be cool when I make a instructional uh, video about it, how to use the Radex Geiger counter. And I'm a nice guy and this is the video how to use it. So it uh, will be a very long video so be patient but all the things you can do with your Radex uh, will be explained. So this is the Radex um, 1706 Geiger counter. There is a, a 1503 model and a 1503 plus model. The plus model software is like the 1706 and the uh, um, normal 1503, not the plus version, version, is a little bit different. It lacks uh, many features. But you can use this video too, how to use the basic operation of the 1503. So, let's see what we, uh, we can do. The uh, first thing we can do is to switch it on with this big button here. So, now we are in monitor mode. This is the first uh, mode you get when you switch it on. And I will show you the screen. Um, here in the top left corner we have the battery indicator. Here you can see uh, what is the actual output you are getting. The 17, 1706 model can only output the value in micro sievert. I think the 1503 um, can um, output the counts or counts per minute too, I'm not quite sure. And uh, you, when you have the 1503 you can check it if there is a setting in the menu how to change the output, um, how it's output put it. So the next thing we have here is the threshold level. So it says when we are over 0.20 microsievert it activates the clicker or beeper. So I will simulate, simulate higher radiation with my uranium marbles here. And as we are over 0.20 now, the clicker is activated. The value isn't displayed at the moment. Oh, okay, it's here now because each measurement takes a little bit time because we measure um, clicks over time which I will explain later and here, here is the threshold level which is set to 0.20 I will show you how to set it to another value later and when you have enabled the vibration it will vibrate when this threshold level is exceeded. So another thing we see here is this um, bell which indicates that the clicker or beeper is on and when we have um, enabled the vibrating or the vibration mode there is a vibrating symbol too. So next thing is here the big number which is the output value and we have um, similar to a mobile phone um, uh, explanation what button does uh, what functionality here off is this button, here is a little light symbol which is this button and here menu is this button. So I can show you the light functionality, uh, make it a little bit darker and here you can see a little bit the background light when I press the button here. So the next thing here is this um, square. It has uh, four bars around it and in the center there is um, uh, another square, a field square, which lights up when there is a particle measured or um, a click or beep or how you will call it without actual sound output because it doesn't exceed the uh, threshold level. The bars around it are uh, the indicator of the measurement period. When all four bars are lit, the measurement period is over and you have your final um, measurement value. 
and to restart it uh, you have to change the radiation I don't uh, I'm not sure if this is enough radiation to change it but I will try it and the measurement periods should be start again yeah here you can see we have the first bar which indicates the one fourth of the measurement is over and when we are waiting it the second bar will lit it takes a, a long time when the radiation is low so you can see now we have a new value but there is no new bar this is because the first bar uh, has two steps that so you can get a first value very quick and as I said uh, it takes a long time when the radiation is low when the radiation is higher the time will be much less and you can measure very quick when the radiation is high so yeah it's, uh, I think that's enough to demonstrate the functionality of this measurement and the indicator and I will show you the other mode um, now we are in the back in the monitoring mode and the, uh, the other mode is the background mode the background mode allows you to um, subtract the actual background radiation from the value so you get only the value over background radiation which is, is what you want to measure because the background radiation is there you can't do anything about it and when you want to measure for example those uh, marbles you don't want to have the background value in your measurement so um, I will show you how to activate the background mode uh, and at first I will show you the other things you find in the menu so I activated the main menu with this button here and uh, I want to show you all sub menus and at last I will show you how to activate the background mode. So the first sub menu is the levels sub menu. Here is the threshold setting I um, told you about uh, which is set to 0 0.20 and here you can um, change it to off and when it is switched off you hear every click of the Geiger counter so it's very noisy and in a normal environment you don't want the Geiger counter to be noisy you uh, want the Geiger counter to be noisy when there is something uh, uh, which is normal so you go into the levels menu and activate the threshold and set it to let's see 0.20 which is a little bit over the um, background radiation here in Europe. So yeah, here I set it to 0.20 um, with this button I save the value and here I activate the, th uh, the threshold. So the next thing is the background mode which I will show you later and the setup sub menu is what I will show you now here you can activate the audio clicker or beeper and the vibra call um, basically it's, it vibrates when the radiation exceeds the threshold level so you can deactivate the audio and have only vibration so you can put it in your pocket and you will be alerted when there is higher radiation as normal. So I will uh, activate the audio again and will switch off the vibration. So and with return you get back to the main menu. The last uh, submenu is the service submenu which shows you the service address of your wholesaler. Now it's time to show you the background mode. So I will go into the background submenu and here you can switch it on or off 
and to use the background mode you must measure your actual background radiation on um, different points in your measurement area. So you go to background and go here to change and there are five different uh, save slots in which you can save those values. So just press start and put it in one place in the measurement area and let it set here for around one minute and it will measure the background radiation. You can see here the measurement indicator which uh, goes up with these four bars as in a normal mode and when the last bar uh, is lit it has the value and store it in one of the save slots. So let's wait. And uh, with the magic, ooh, magic of uh, video cutting, I will um, change the time for you, and you. Uh, it's not necessary for you to wait. So let's make it happen. So magic happened, and yes, you can see here are three bars. So there's only one bar left and then the measurement is over and we have our first um, background radiation value stored in the first save slot. So here you can see my background radiation of 0.11 is stored in the first um, slot. And yeah, when you want to have an accurate um, reading of the background radiation you must repeat it until you have all slots fall full. So I will use the, this uh, one value to demonstrate you the functionality of the background mode and uh, I will go here to end and the background mode is switched on now and with return and exit I'm in the main operating um, screen and let's see until we got our first uh, value I will rise the radiation a little bit so yeah let's see what we've got new here as you can see we have a new value here which is titled noise, which is the background uh, radiation and the value here 0.10 is only the radiation which is over background. So we have in a, a total um, radiation of 0.21 which is indicated by this noise uh, value. So when I put this aside we should go here to 0, 0.00 which will be not happen I think because we have uh, this higher radiation here in the first measurement period which is in the end value too. So that's all I can show you about this uh, Radex Geiger counter. When you have uh, more questions, uh, please leave a comment. Um, you can subscribe me here on YouTube. I will make other interesting videos in near future too. And yeah, when it was helpful, please leave a comment. And when it wasn't, please leave a comment too, so I know what I can make better. Yeah, here is the speaker. If somebody um, wondered about what is this, this is the speaker and here is one Geiger Mueller tube and here the other one and yeah. This is the Radex 1706 Geiger counter. It's from Russia and yeah. Bye.